Hey, how are you guys doing? I wanted to make this video yesterday, but no joke, as I was exporting this video so I can upload it to YouTube, my computer just died. Well, it's my laptop, technically. So I had to get a new one, but that thing was a bit old from 2016, and I guess it was on its last legs. Unfortunately, I had to try to recuperate and make it as good as possible in such a short time, so hopefully this is not too bad. I quickly ran and tried to make my setup somewhat similar to what it was before but you know there's gonna be things that are a bit off and rough so hopefully <laughs> you guys don't notice the difference but at least my computer is faster so that's cool anyways let's talk about this video right so the this video was basically a preview of the Johanne of the Parhelion you know you wanna no no the Genjutsu no Johanne uh, Sunshine in the Mirror. So that's going to be the anime about Yohane or the Yohaname is like I like to call it and that's going to of course be coming out in July 2023 and they released a preview video of it which covered a little bit but not a crazy amount but I did want to talk about it. So let's take a look at some of the scenes. So first and foremost they showed you the beach which this awfully looks familiar doesn't it and then they showed some Mikan which yeah that's also familiar and then they show a big view of the city. So some of you might not know what this is but guess what this is Numazu so if you don't know what Numazu is if you have looked in Japan it's going to be in the Shizuoka prefecture and you'll notice that there are a lot of things in Numazu that happen to be really familiar like that port or perhaps maybe like the this school or the Izu Mito Sea Paradise yet yeah, this is literally the city Aqua is from and Aqua made this place very well known so and even they, they even said Oh yeah, this is Numazu, and we look at this beach, yes, this is the beach where we had Chika, and you know, when Rico fell in the water, this is very much that beach. So, we get to see more of this anime, we get to see Yoshiko on a train, we get to see her look at the beach again, but this is happening in Numazu. And they all say, you know, Yoshiko can't be true to herself, you know, so that seems to be similar. We have Yoshiko, who is, you know, Yoshiko really. But we also get to see a little bit of the other girls. We kind of already seen them before, but as we know, they're going to be a little different than their counterparts in La La Sunshine. Mari seems to be wearing his dress as a magician. I don't know if that indicates she might be evil or not. But we do have Yohane running into all the girls here. And we get to see that Chika is of course in the center. Because that's how it works in Love Live. But we get to see all these girls in different looks. I'm sure they're going to have relatively similar personalities. Ruby's even smaller than ever. So somehow they found a way to make her smaller. But they are going to be probably exhibiting some similar roles. We see Yo, she's it looks like a deliverer. She may be like a male woman or something like that. And we get to see Dai probably is going to be like the head of some kind of building or district or something. Something like that, something official, because, you know, being a Sugan president, she's probably going to play a similar role. But, so, overall, the thing is we get, probably the biggest thing I would say is that this is happening, again, in Numazu, just like Love Life Sunshine. So, one of my biggest questions is, are we just getting a fantasized version of it? Are they going to take a bunch of locations in Love Life Sunshine, fantasize it a bit, and bam, we're done? Are we going to be seeing all those scenes that, you know, we're working out here, and they had the shrines, are we going to see those again? Are we going to see him go visit the aquarium again? Except a fantasized version of that. That was a scene, big, big scene in La Lights of China as well. So I'm curious to see. Because it is again still happening in Numazu. And we, you know Numazu is a real life place. So I'm curious to see how they're going to fantasize that. You know this is going to more or less be an isekai with. But you know with the La Lights of China characters but. I'm wondering how much of an isekai it is, how much love life is going to be melded into this. Are they just taking characters and say, here you go, here's an isekai? I don't know if that's going to work the best, but, you know, I watch dumber isekai, so I'm sure this is going to beat some, because I watched a handful of dumb ones, and yikes, they're not that very interesting. I mean, maybe I didn't watch as much, like, Giga or something, but I've watched my fair share of isekai, because I like isekai. I find it an interesting content, but it is kind of done a lot so hopefully this could be something that's unique and separates them from the other isekai because there are so many these days it's it's annoying so i'm really hoping that the lesson train is unique and also you know good and i'm curious to see how much of the love live part of this anime is going to really 
be in it. You know, they didn't even call it Love Live, so my guess is maybe not really. I don't know. I'm sure they can do their own opening and anime themes. And I, I mean, it's gonna be Yohani focused, so I mean, it might just be soul songs. I guess they could get the other girls involved because you know they can sing, but I don't know how much is going to be there. And I, they could do the occasional number where you know they're exploring, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna help you out in a song, you know, kind of like the Disney style. I could see that happening as well, but I don't think there's going to be as many songs in here. But who knows? We don't know enough about it. But I am curious to see what you guys think about this. What are your hopes? And did this trailer convince you to like this more? Are you excited? Or are you still cautiously optimistic? Or are you pessimistic about what this could be? I am curious to see how many non low life fans this get, people get to watch this. Or, you know, how many people are going to watch this not realizing it's Love Life. And especially if they are Love Life haters, I'm curious to see if they get tricked in watching this. You know, you know, probably send this to you guys, to your friends, and see if they can recognize Love Live and see if they will watch it. You know, just let them know. It's an isekai. I'm sure you like it. I'm curious to see if that will work on other people. But I'm definitely curious to see what you guys think about this. Uh, the trailer, I'll give you a link to it if you watch a full version. I got the translated version by Onibe, Tino Onibe. They did a translation in English, so I'll give you a link to that. And, you know, make sure you guys give them credit to that. An English translation, of course, can help, but there isn't a whole lot there. It's just the few words and whatnot. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And hopefully, I will be able to make more videos soon, now that I have a working computer. Though, I'm still trying to get more parts here. To... And I did lose some stuff here and there. And I'm trying to figure out how much of the damage is actually happened. But for right now, I got this video, so cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in another video soon.